Hi guys, it's Mina, and today in this video I'm going to do a movie review because I haven't done one since Walt Disney's birthday and I'm going to do one. And today's review is on a movie I just recently saw yesterday called Peter Rabbit. So Peter Rabbit is about this rabbit who is voiced by, named Peter, who is voiced by James Corden, and it's loosely based off the book by, um... Beatrix Potter, how he sneaks into Mr. McGregor's garden and steals his carrot, and he's constantly chased and causing mischief with Mr. McGregor. But when the old Mr. McGregor dies, Mr. McGregor's nephew moves in, and he causes havoc with Mr. McGregor's nephew, who is actually a city boy and learns about farming. Farming, and they kind of start a rivalry between war between each other. Him and his friends start a war between each other. Okay, so to start off... Uh, and they also try to fight for affections of a lady who cares for Peter. Okay, to start off, I loved Peter Rabbit. It's one of my, f it was a great movie. It was super duper funny. I loved all the characters. I love how they added, like, the characters from the original, from, like, the book. And the characters from different other books and stuff from the Peter Rabbit franchise. I really like that. I grew up reading the book of Peter Rabbit. I remember my mom reading me that story a lot when I was a kid. And I do have a video of me reading Peter Rabbit. If you want to see it, I'll put the link to it. In the, the link will be down in the description box below, and you can go feel free to go there and click on that if you want to see that video. And if you didn't see it, you should check it out. Um, I really like the characters. I like the whole story. I love how they added a bunch of comedy in it. I'm a big comedy fan. It was a very funny movie with like movie, and I'm just really glad that they added a little twist to the story and stuff. I have to make it funny for everybody. Funny. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the director. This was directed by Will. Look, Will Gluck, I am very, not familiar at all with anything that he's directed. Directed, he's, this is like my first film that I've seen that he's directed, and I think he did a pretty good job directing this film. Next, I'm going to talk about the characters. I'm going to go start off with the animals. Luckily, there's not that many animals in, the, um, in this, um, so there's not that many animal characters, so I can go through it as fast as I can. First, I'm going to talk about Peter. I really like Peter. I like how he causes mischief between, like, Mr. McGregor and stuff, and he's, like, kind of the trouble starter. Like, he'll have, like, good pl have plans that end up getting him and his friends into mischief, and he'll... And the, he, he'll, like, be the leader of his friends, like, tell them what they should do and give them ideas and tell him how his plans work. Even though his plans aren't that good, they still go along with it. And I really like how he kind of learns later on from his mistake when he makes a really big one. Um, he's a rabbit, by the way. Well, obviously Peter is a rabbit because he's called Peter Rabbit. And he's voiced by James Corden. And James Corden, I recognize him from Into the Woods, and he plays the baker. And he play he's in the movie Trolls. And he plays Biggie. And he's also in the Emoji movie, and he does the voice of High Five. Next, I'm going to talk about Flopsy, and this is Peter's sister. I really like Flopsy about Flopsy. I find her super funny how she and Mopsy and Cottontail are constantly fighting over who's the oldest and who's not. And I also love that she, Peter, watches out for her, and she takes care of Peter as well. And I really like that, that she cares, she very caring and watching and helpful of her friends along and her siblings as well. And she is voiced by Margot Robbie. And Margot Robbie, I'm not familiar with her in anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Mopsy. I really like Mopsy. I like how she also argues with Flop Flopsy about who's the oldest and, like, what who's the boss, who's in charge, and blah, 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 blah. And I like how she also goes along with Peter's plans, and she also helps watch out for Peter, too, even though Peter's the oldest. And I love how she cares for Peter, and he cares for her, too. And he, she is a rabbit, too, and she's voiced by Elizabeth Deb, Debick and Elizabeth Debicky. Elizabeth Debicky, I'm not familiar with her in anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Cottontail. I really like Cottontail because I like how she also kind of argues with um, her other sisters, like um, Mopsy and Cottontail and Flopsy, and I love how she also is very, loves Peter a lot. Like he, how he also cares for, 
she also cares for him and she um kind of gets into his plans as well Mops, flopsy mopsy and cottontail all get into to um peter's um plant peter's plans like they attack um mr mcgregor and they all just go along with it which i think is pretty funny and she's voiced by daisy ridley and daisy ridley i'm not familiar with her in anything else but this movie Next, I'm going to talk about Felix. Felix is another character who is part of Peter's friends. I like how he um, also is going along with Peter's plans, and I also find it super funny how he gets distracted by lights, and he'll, like, stop and freeze, which is pretty funny. Funny, and I like that he also helps Peter out, and then he's tell and he and the other gang, like, know when they've gone too far and stuff. Stuff, like, I understand, like... When he, like, goes too far and then he realizes, like, he needs to stop. Like, going too far meaning when you're fooling around with someone until they get too mad at you. You and they cause trouble. Trouble. I like how he knows when to stop. And he is voiced by Christian Gazel. And Christian Gazel, not Gazel, I'm only familiar with him in Babe Pig in the City and Happy Feet. Next I'm going to talk about, about is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle is pretty funny. I like how she's pretty gullible. Like, she sees peanut butter on a barbed wire and she'll eat it, not realizing that it's a trap. It's pretty funny. Funny, and I like how she, even though she's old, she thinks she's, um... I like how she's old. She still likes to have fun, and I think that's pretty cool. Like, I like when people that are elderly have a good time. Like, with the younger people. I think it's pretty cool. And she's a hedgehog, and she's voiced by Sia. And Sia, I'm only familiar with her songs, not, none of her acting. Next, I'm going to talk about Piglin Bland. Piglin Bland, he's, like, a, one of the pigs that likes to have fun. He, like, goofs around with Peter, goes along with, like, all the parties he has. And he also goes along with the mischief that happens um, that they cause to Mr. McGregor and stuff and all the pranks that they pull, and I think that's pretty cool, pretty funny. And he's a pig, obviously, because his name is Pigwing, and he's voiced by Ewan Leslie. Next, I'm going to talk about Jemima. Jemima is a... is um another friend of Peter. She also goes along with his um fun and hangs out with him all the time. I really like that and I like how she, they go along with like messing up Mr. McGregor's life and pulling pranks on him. And she is a voice by Rose Byrne and Rose Byrne I recognize from the movie Neighbors. Next I'm going to talk about the human characters. First I'm going to talk about B. B is a lady who takes care of Peter and her his friends and they are like um she feeds them, lets them eat, hang out in her garden, and takes such good care of them and treats them as if her, they're her own pets. And I also love that um, she kind of starts a relationship with um, um, the young Thomas McGregor, um, McGregor, and then she first, like, she likes him, and then I like how the... Like, she likes him, and it kind of makes the animals kind of jealous because they're worried about losing her and stuff and I like how she takes care of them feeds them and then she knows what to do with all the animals and helps them out and does everything she can to make sure they're okay and she is played by Rose Byrne and Rose Byrne I recognize from the movie Neighbors again she voiced the she also voiced one of the animals next I'm going to talk about um Mr. McGregor, the older Mr. Mc, the old Mr. McGregor. I like Mr. McGregor. I like how he kind of chases Peter and his friends out of his garden, and I like how he kind of has to like um, keep going after them. But I find it super sad when he passes away in the garden, garden while chasing Peter. Peter, and it's not really good to invade other people's private property. That's the lesson I learned from the movie, from the movie Peter Rabbit, especially even reading the book as a kid. And he is played by Sam Nell, and Sam Nell I recognize from Jurassic Park as Dr. Alan Grant. Next, I'm going to talk about Thomas McGregor. So Thomas McGregor is Mr. McGregor's nephew. He is a city boy who works at like a um, store, and he's like fired after going crazy after his great uncle dies. And um, he then learned about farm life from 
B who B and then he kind of starts a relationship with B which makes Peter jealous and he constantly is trying and he's getting irritated with Peter and his friends as they're trying to make as they make his life miserable by like pulling pranks on him like making his door shocky or um kind of like stepping into his garden and ruining his garden and attacking him and stuff which is pretty funny and he is voiced by Dom, and he's played by Domino Gleason. And Domino Gleason, I'm not familiar with him in anything else but this movie. And next, I'm going to talk about the setting. This takes place in England, and honestly, I've never been to England. Um, England, when I think it looks very beautiful. I think it looks amazing. I really have never been to England in my entire life. I think um, it looks really beautiful with all like the land and I like all the grasslands and the flowers there and I love the little cottages they have in England. I think that's pretty neat because like I hardly ever see cottages anywhere where I live. I live in California and I hardly ever see cottages in California. So, okay, even though my aunt has a cottage in her backyard, I just hardly ever see like small cottages is anywhere like besides backyards okay so I would recommend um, Peter Rabbit to anybody who loves bunnies and Beatrix Potter because this is like a good book that is loosely based off this is a good movie that's loosely based off the book by Beatrix Potter and with some comedy because comedy and I also recommend it to people like comedy because this is a lot of funny scenes in this movie movie and if you're a big fan of Peter Rabbit I suggest this movie to anybody who loves Peter Rabbit and um funny cute adorable talking animals and animals because I love anything that has a cute adorable talking animals and if you're a big fan of cute adorable talking animals and comedy then check this out it's such a great film okay so that was my review on Peter Rabbit I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video soon bye